what is up you guys oh my gosh fam welcome back to the channel you guys so today we got conway tweety hello darling let's get straight into it i just reacted to conway tweety not too long ago you guys and you guys you guys ran that one up very quick you guys so this is hello darling let's get straight to it let's see if we're feeling this vibe of him and let's just see if we want him to stay on his channel smash like button hit that red one, you guys now last time we did tight fitted jeans or something close to that similar and you guys wow that was hello crazy. darling nice to see you it's been a long time you're just as lovely as you used to be how's your new love are you happy? Hope you're doing fine Just to know it Means so much to me What's that, darling? How am I doing? Guess I'm doing all right Except I can't sleep And I cry all night till dawn I'm so sorry that I did you wrong. Well, Wowzer Conway, why'd you do it wrong? This is this is basically him. Don't know what you have until it's gone, you guys. Um, he basically said, "I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're happy, no matter what." But at the end of the day, I'm not sleeping. I'm not happy, but I still want you to be happy. Um, I'm sorry for what I did, apologizing, but that still doesn't make it right. I don't know what you did, but that still doesn't make it right. But he's just pouring out his emotions, you guys, and he's just pouring out how he feels and what he did wrong. Look up, darling. Let me kiss you. Oh. Just for old time's sake, let me hold you say. in my arms one more darling may god bless you and may each step you take bring you closer to the things you seek to find goodbye darling gotta go now gotta try to find a way Back, darling, I'll be waiting for you. Yeah. Wow. So basically, I still have somewhere in my heart for you, no matter what. Um, because he basically is the one who did wrong, not her, is what it's saying. So wow, you guys, that was that was a different one. You guys definitely different than tight fitted jeans, you guys. Um, different vibe that was a lovey-dovey emotional vibe that came to reality as he was singing it, you guys so we have another Conway Twitter you guys this is don't call him a cowboy let's get straight into you guys and like I said I'm gonna start doing artists but two songs of theirs so make sure you start commenting down below and I'll get to them but this was donate requested so shout out to thousand subscribers that donate to the channel help you girl out and help the channel out so don't call him a cowboy City, and you want to see the sights? You heard all about those cowboys and their crazy Texas oh. nights. I see you got your eye on something leaning on the bar, but the toughest ride he's ever had was in his foreign car. So don't call him a cowboy. <laughs> 
Till you seen him ride Cause the steps and hat and them fancy boots Don't tell you what's inside, no And if he ain't good in the saddle, Lord You won't be satisfied So don't call him a cowboy Until you've seen him ride Until you've seen him ride so he has to really show that he's a real cowboy. He can't just say that he's a cowboy. You have to re put some respect on their name, you guys. Because Conway is not having it. <laughs> it's a Hollywood idea of the wild and a woolly west. In his French designer blue jeans and his custom tailored vest. You're thinking he's the real thing, but I think ought to know he can't even make it through a one night go oh, oh no. you can't make it through a rodeo you know that's a big thing for the cowboys and the cowgirls i do believe country people period um i do believe that is a big thing for them comment down below if i'm wrong but um where they go ride the bulls and ride a ho i don't think they ride horses but they ride the bulls and they be wild and they have a good night out so you have to honestly you have to honestly be a cowboy and not just say it. So don't call him a cowboy until you've seen him ride. Cause the steps and hat and them fancy boots don't tell you what's inside, no. And if he ain't good in the saddle, Lord, you won't be satisfied. So don't call him a cowboy until you've seen him ride. Don't call him a cowboy until you've seen him ride. Cause a steps and hat and them fancy boots don't tell you what's inside, no. And if he ain't good in the saddle, Lord, you won't be satisfied. So don't call him a cowboy until you've seen him ride. Don't call him a cowboy until you've seen him ride. I was loving the instrumental on that one, you guys. So this one, you guys, this one was nice. Um, out of the three, I react to type it in jeans, uh, cowboy, and the one we just listened to. Which one was that? And the emotional one we just listened to. Hold up, hold up, because we just listened to it. <laughs> I'm going to call him a cowboy. It's a song written by Debbie Hook, Johnny McRae, and Bob Morris and recorded by the Mary Country music artist Conway Twitty. It was released February 1985. First single on the title track album Don't Call Him a Cowboy. The song was written by Twitty's 34th Billboard. The song was Twitty's 34th Billboard number one single on the country charts, but his 50th overall. The single went to number four one week, spent a total of four, 13 weeks on the chart. Mm. Hello, darling to cowboy to um uh, tight fitted jeans i'm i think i'm liking hello darling out of those three you guys but you could definitely tell conway was different and he was i don't popular he was popular right very popular um so guys let me know how you guys feel about conway if you guys have uh, more artists, put them down below with two songs and I'll get to them one by one, you guys. You guys just have to be patient with me because we have a lot of subscribers, you guys. Let me know down in the comments. Smash the like button and hit that red, you guys, if you guys are new. Let's go.